Hi guys, this is my second video on the Surface RT. Uh, if you watched my previous video, you would know that I gave this uh, machine lots of props because um, I actually find it really good. Um, one of the things I like doing on this is downloading music or downloading them from YouTube. You know, you can convert them um, into MP3s and stuff like that, so you, you can get really good quality music. The problem I had was actually getting the music to my uh, iPhone 5. As you can see, I've got iPhone 5 running iOS 7 here, which is connected to the Surface and it's charging um, nicely. I can take my photos off um, and videos which I record on the iPhone but can't really do anything else and I download you know like house music quite regularly like probably a couple of tunes a day you always find new music to download but anyway getting it to the um, iPhone was a bit of a problem I don't really use my laptop anymore so I would prefer to do it on the surface because I use it all the time so um, as you know they released um, VLC recently and um, it's got a, like a web server which you just go onto your website. We're going to open up a web page, put in your um, your IP address, and then you can transfer music uh, videos. So I was thinking, well, maybe I could do the same thing for um, for music as well. I don't really use the music app. I use um, what have I got here? Splice, which is like a DJ app, which I really like. Um, I've got a 3D player, which gives you if you've got like a really good set of headphones, it gives you um, good playback quality, and it does actually make it make music sound a lot better, especially on the beats, which I think the beats ain't all that. But anyway, that's another story. Um, so yeah, so I thought yeah, getting the music on this, creating a play playlist on this device on on the um, on the iPhone would be good if I could just transfer the music. So anyway, I thought I'd give it a try. I downloaded this um, iMedia player, this one right here in the corner. Media player, sorry, it's called. Um, just opened up a web page on the surface. So if you can't see this, I'm, sh I'm shooting this on my Galaxy Note, so um, I don't really want you to see my IP address anyway. So, uh, so let me just put the IP address in there. Actually, it would be good if I open the app first on the iPhone. Open the app on the iPhone. Um, go to uh, Wi-Fi here in the bottom and there you can see it's waiting now for me to open up open up the same um, IP address on the browser. So I'll just put that in the browser, press go, hopefully it should connect straight away first time. <laughs> Typical, let's try that again. Ah, oh, right, good. I, I was hoping, I, I didn't want to have to cut the video. I couldn't bother all that crap. I just usually just, just do the video straight. But anyway, so I can go to browse, select file to upload. Um, I'll choose, um, let's choose around the world, Daft Punk. And then submit. So here it is now, it's uploading, coming in. And that's completed 100% straight away, 6.57 megabytes straight away. So just go back on the device now, go to audio, and there's the track. Um, this, so this player is just the first one I found, just to come, just to do a test really, and I found it works okay. But it does show up ads, so you probably could find a better player out there that doesn't show ads. Um, you can also do the same for videos on this particular application or you could use um, VLC to transfer your videos. Yeah, you can use Dropbox and stuff like that, but I think apps like this make it a bit better because it's actually like a, a, a proper music player and you can create your playlists and, you know, and, and stuff like that. So yeah, um, give it a try. Free yourself, free yourself from Apple and iTunes. Take it easy. Bye.